of all, he is phenomenal. When I met him, I was like, oh, this guy's got his shit on lock. <laughs> he just looks like a guy that knows what he's doing, which I realize seems pretty basic, but you know them when you see them. <laughs> he will walk out here and you'll be like, damn, she's right. So prepare yourselves. Uh, so songs that would be played on a loop in hell. I don't know these, so feel free to break out into song if you would like. If not, that's okay. We can make them up in our heads. Matt Redman, 10,000 Reasons, Bless the Lord. Followed by Arthur Brown's The God of Hellfire, just over and over and over again. The other one, and this really is truly an impressive random fact, although Kali, your 18-syllable word was also very impressive, you're welcome. Um, everyone in the audience right now has 380 trillion viruses and 38 trillion bacteria living on or in your bodies right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go gargle, and uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna introduce you to Ed. Ed, come on out. <laughs> I didn't know you were, all righty. <laughs> I bring friends. So when Kat looks out, I'm sure she sees a live audience. But what I see is a bunch of mortals. Welcome, mortals. You're in the right place, because we're going to talk about your funeral options. So our ancestors used to leave the dead out for scavengers. But when the earth got populated with about a million, they started burying them or throwing them on fire pits, not to attract predators. But a much cooler way to go is what <laughs> Ted Williams, Baseball Hall of Famer did. He had his head severed and cryogenic, cryogenically frozen. And his wish is to be mixed with Betty Crocker. He hopes to come back as a better batter. <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> now, you could have your body mixed with alfalfa straw and hay for human composting. You'd fill the back of a bed of a, of a truck, but you wouldn't necessarily be freed of pathogens. Now, if you saw the movie The Birds, wouldn't it be a poetic irony if Alfred Hitchcock had a sky burial? Vultures came down and picked the flesh off his bones? <laughs> Serve him right. Now, you could also have a burial at sea. It's not very environmentally friendly, do you think, to put a casket out in the middle of the ocean? No. And there's also some things that even Jaws shouldn't eat, right? Mammals. Now, we all like Ignite, and so some of you are probably going to get ignited. So this is a petrochemical cremation. The body goes in. 95% plus harmful emissions go out the smokestack. But look what's inside there. Right, and we're in a crowded theater, and this has been on my bucket list. So on the count of three, I want, or backwards, I want everyone to shout this. Ready? Three, two, one. Fire! Very good, we're all going to hell. So, all right, so what is this? You're right, it's a toxic waste site. It's the most, in, least environmentally safe way to go. For generations, resources will be spent caring for the dead. I bet you never thought of being mummified, neither did Norman Bates' mother, right? But mummification is legal. It's about 100 grand, takes a couple months. It's an option. But it, there's another way to go. Let's say you wanted to travel the world and see lots of museums. Plasmization is for you. They take all the water out of your body, all the fats, replace it with plastic to stop your decay. Some people might get abducted by aliens. There's no body left. Or if you saw Breaking Bad and you hang out with the wrong people, you could end up in a bathtub with acid poured on you. No body for your funeral. About 15 years ago, I decided to try to create sustainable funeral options. This is an aquamation system. It's a piece of shit. We had brains left over. We had marrow left over. We had fats left over. So in 2019, my wife and I, we got a team of professors in biochemistry 
and a rocket engineer to see if we could solve all the problems. That's me in the middle. We won Denver Startup. Now look, if you go to the Brown Palace and you find this, it's gonna be your last bath. Not only are they gonna put the water in, but they're also gonna put in some potassium hydroxide, some alcohol, in about three hours, there you were before, and there you are after. Yeah, you get twice as much bones back, all your medical implants will still be there. They could be donated, they could be recycled. But on top of that, you also get back your essence. It didn't go out the smokestack, it didn't get buried. This is a powerful plant biostimulant and it enables four new sustainable funeral options. The first of which is aqua composting. So there, your natural organic essence becomes a soil amendment take the bones and put them with the liquid and now you've got an aqua burial. No cemetery plot. Just keep the bones, donate the essence to a farm. You're a beautiful plant biostimulant at this point. Or leave your essence high and then have an aqua burial at sea so you can reverse acidification. So I do want your bodies when you're dead to help save the plankton's ectoskeleton from being dissolved by carbonic acid. So if you've never done anything good in your life, now your final act can be beneficial to your survivors. Oh, there's real bones in here. There's real bones, excuse here. me. I'm gonna take a glimpse. Really? Yeah. Who's in the bucket? Okay. Somebody who kicked the bucket. Oh, wow, that's crazy. I learned so much from Ed. Thank you. I love you, but you're holding people. It's kind of surreal, right? Did anybody recognize Eric in one of those slides? Yeah. yeah. The essence is fruitful. Is that? Oh, that sounded kind of like cult. That sounded culty. I'm not in a cult. <laughs> Soylent Green is people. <laughs>